we're going to turn this Just take those old records off the shelf into this Just take those old records off the shelf Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and in this video, you're going to learn how to make an image of a person dance. Let's begin. First, you need to join the Viggle Discord server. The invite link is in the description, and then choose any character you want. It doesn't have to be a full body image as long as it is a humanoid. If you use something like a dog, it will turn into a dog with a human body. So if you want to sleep tonight, stick to a humanoid character. I'll be using Chun-Li from Fortnite instead. In the server, you can go to any of these anime channels. There are three commands that you can use. Mix, where you could use a video for motion data. Animate, where you can type what the image would do and ideate, where both the character and the motion should be described by text. Let's try ideate. I'll make a clown crawl on the ground by typing a clown for the image prompt and crawling on the ground for the motion prompt. For the background, I would recommend green for easier background removal using chroma key. For the fine tune, turn this on for better results. The channel is flooded, so you're gonna need to search for a mention of your username to check if yours is finished. You'll either find nothing, or find a message saying that you're still in the queue. You can refresh by clicking old then click new again. Now let's check what we have here. Well, we got a clown. But the motion is unfortunately way off. I'm not sure what exactly this clown is doing. But you can use text prompts that can be found in the motion prompt channel. This will guarantee an accurate motion. Simply paste the motion prompt into the motion prompt text box. And now we have a clown that's actually following the motion prompt. Now let's try anime. We'll use Chun-Li's image and drag it into the image prompt. Now if you were to use a motion prompt with an actual background, if you click from template for the background, the output would actually use the background of the template just like this. But what if you want to use a background that's not in any of the templates? Maybe you want to replace a hot TikTok dancer? That's where the mix mode comes in. Simply drag the image and the video on their respective boxes. And you'll get something like this. Yeah, I know, that's not Chun-Li. But as you noticed, the background isn't actually there. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Of course we can't just chroma key it and place it on top of the original. The character would end up on top of the hot TikToker. What we're gonna do is use another AI tool to remove the TikToker from the video. To do that, we need to use Runway ML. You can find the link in the description. And then, go to the Video Editor Projects. Make a new project and select In Painting. Simply drag the original video here, and it should appear on the Assets section here. Double-click on it to put it into the timeline. Then increase the brush size so you could paint more efficiently. Once you let go of the mouse, it will start erasing the person. Click Done in Painting for now. Upload the green screen character and put it into the timeline just above the original video. Change the volume to zero since both the original video and the green screen has the same audio. Then click the green screen button. Click anywhere on the character to select it. You can check if it's properly selected by changing the view mode to alpha channel. The character should be white while the background should be black. You can also use the preview mode to see the character without the green background. If you're satisfied with the result, click Done Masking. Here's the preview of our result. Cool, right? Now we have to export it so we can watch it without lag. You can do that by clicking the Export button on the top right. We can only export to 720p and in MP4 format, but if you need better settings then you'll have to upgrade. We're now going to export it. The progress of the export will be in the Assets section. When the export is done, there should be a button here that says go to export, but I forgot to record it. So instead we'll go to home, then go to all assets. Here you'll find the exported video where you can then download it. And finally, here's the result. If you like more videos like this, you know what to do. See you on the next video.